In 1928, Alexander Fleming packed his bags and went for a holiday to London from his home in Scotland. Darling, do you have the train tickets? When he returned, he noticed something strange contaminating his bacterial staff cultures in some petri dishes lying near an open window. I wonder what this strange green colored fungus is. That green colored fungus turned out to be a bacteria killer, leading to the discovery of the first antibiotic penicillin in 1942, just in time for World War II. Bacterial pneumonia killed 18% of soldiers in World War 1, but less than 1% in the next Great War. Since then, hundreds of antibiotics have been discovered, saving millions of lives. They are broadly divided into 6 classes, each having many drugs: penicillins, cephalosporins, fluoroquinolones, tetracyclines, macrolides, aminoglycosides. But now, these very same wonder drugs don't work at all. leading the center of disease control cdc to declare the world will see 10 million or 1 crore deaths per year by 2050 by which time it will surpass cancer heart disease and diabetes to become the main cause of death in the human race an icmr study found there exist antibiotic resistant organisms in the digestive tracts of two out of every three healthy indians common infections in the kidney ureter bladder urinary tract are sometimes being treated by high end antibiotics as patients are already resistant to milder drugs we have to use last resort drugs like colistin to save them but sometimes even that does not work the irving medical center in new york revealed that in four patients e coli a common bacteria in many of us and normally treated by cheaper oral antibiotics turned deadly half the patients died within a month no combination of antibiotics were able to kill it antimicrobial resistance or amr has been identified by the world health organization in 2019 as one of the 10 threats to global health before the age of antibiotics a small cut tooth decay or routine surgery could lead to life threatening bacterial infections Resistant strains today include stuff which Fleming's green fungus had easily killed. We're soon going to have patients with routine infections like pneumonia, TB, gonorrhea and salmonellosis. We can't treat. Drug resistant microbes are more deadly on newborns than on older people. Delhi's CNBC hospital reported that 2 out of every 3 newborn deaths between 2011 and 15 were due to drug resistant bacteria. Bacteria are resilient creatures who begin to develop resistance within a year of usage of a new antibiotic. Big pharma would rather spend on more profitable diseases rather than on antibiotic discovery which can take 10 years and cost 2 billion dollars and may soon end up being useless in a couple of years. The problem lies in life cycles. Whereas humans reproduce a new generation every 25 to 33 years, microbes evolve with amazing speed. E. coli reproduces every 20 minutes. In a few years, they can go through evolutionary change that would take humans millions of years. Because of their faster reproduction, microbes are constantly evolving in a bid to overcome antibiotics through genetic trial and error. Sometimes they develop pumps called efflux pumps that can throw out the antibiotic from the cell, or they manage to stop enough of the antibiotic reaching its intended target, or develop a tougher outer membrane. making it difficult for the antibiotic to pass through superbugs are those that are so resistant that they are able to overcome a combination of different antibiotics that are each attacking the bug in a different way in a case in delhi in 2018 a drug resistant microbe called lepsila pneumonia prevalent in the patient's blood stream produced a special enzyme to beat back the antibiotics new methods of tackling the crisis give us hope Scientists discovered that bacteria often fight to the death with other bacteria in a competition for food by producing a poisonous toxin. These toxin phages or bacteriophages are typically chunks of genetic material wrapped in a protein who pierce a cell wall of a competitor and hijack its genetic machinery turning it into a factory for making more of their own kind. Of the 400 trillion bacteria living in each of our bodies, only one one thousand are potentially harmful. When you take a broad spectrum antibiotic to fight an infection, it doesn't discriminate between good and bad bacteria. They kill everything. 
researchers are developing phages that can be engineered to target only the bad bacteria. Poor knowledge about antibiotics is another reason for microbial resistance. 75% of persons in a survey in India incorrectly thought that cold and flu could be treated with antibiotics. Here's what antibiotics can and cannot do. Antibiotics can treat bacterial infection, pneumonia, STDs, severe acne, while they cannot treat viral infections, most ear aches, sore throat, cough, runny noses or the flu. Often patients doctor shop. If one clinician tries to convince the patient, no need to take antibiotics for the common flu, it will go away by itself. This doctor doesn't know anything, I'll go to another. One in three antibiotic prescriptions in the US and half of all worldwide prescriptions are unnecessary. While two out of three antibiotics sold in India have not even been approved by regulators. It's used in poultry and livestock where antibiotics are routinely given to fatten them up, adversely affect us when antibiotics enter the human food chain when it is not needed, allowing existing bacteria to develop resistance. Improper disposal of residual antibiotics has a similar effect. An AIMS study analyzed water samples from seven places among the Yamuna River, 35 bore wells in Delhi and water coming out of the Ghaziapur landfill. The concentration of dissolved drugs in the river water increased as it made its way through the city. You will be surprised to learn the most dangerous place on earth to catch a superbug is the hospital ICU. Here all sorts of different bugs meet, intermingle and jump from one sick patient to another, testing the immune systems of those already weakened battling other ailments. About 5% of US patients get an infection from the hospital, while of the 670,000 superbug infections in Europe in 2015, two out of three occurred in hospitals. In 2011, a deadly and mysterious C. auris pathogen was detected in ICUs in India, and over the last 10 years, the bug has become a deadly threat in 35 countries, with 70% of those catching the infection dying. Unlike other bacteria that live in humans, this one could survive on bed linen, medical instruments, doorknobs, windows and even inside IV lines lying in wait for their next victim. To control this, some hospitals in the US dip doctor gowns in nanocrystal solutions that prevent bacteria from sticking onto clothes. Robots using ultraviolet light that disinfect hospital walls are also being used. Researchers discovered that certain drug-resistant bacteria's glow turned from gold to white on being hit with blue laser light. This light damages the outer membrane that they develop to keep the antibiotic out. After being exposed to the laser, they succumb to the same previously ineffective antibiotic. In the pristine glacial valley of Konsfjorden, an island between Norway and the North Pole, superbug drug-resistant gene New Delhi Metallo-Beta-Lactamase, named after the city it was first discovered in, was found thriving in the Arctic region. Antimicrobial resistance is a larger threat to humans than all wars and terrorism put together. Bizbo's Limerick! Microbes are getting stronger day by day, developing new ways to keep antibiotics at bay. But biotech phages will be the war that wages to overcome resistance and bacteria slay. Subscribe to Bizbo's channel and be sure to click on the bell icon. Be the first to know when Bizbo releases a new video.